Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about what is senior design. So let's get started. All right, so I had done a video earlier about uh, the course catalog breakdown at my university and I had also mentioned as a senior, you'll be taking a class called senior design. Now this may not apply to all universities. Uh, so if it doesn't, then you feel free to you know, skip this video because I'm going to be going into detail about what exactly senior design is. But if your university does have this and it is a requirement when you're a senior, um, then I think this will be a very beneficial video for you because I'm going to talk about what exactly my group did when we were uh, seniors as a computer engineering student and we had to go through this class. It was a year-long class that was a part one and a part two for the first semester and second semester and we had to work on this big project and then present it to our classmates and also make a poster and talk about it. So that's uh, just a general overview on what that is. But yeah, if you are going to be taking senior design or you saw somewhere that your university requires it, uh, then please continue watching and we're going to get to it. So first semester senior, I went into this class and the professors had provided the students with a list of projects that we could choose from. So we could decide what we wanted to work on for the next year. And when we decided this, we were then broken up into groups. So whoever wanted to work on a particular project, we would have to claim that as like, okay, hey, I want to work on this because there could only be a max of three to four people in a group. So it was limited spots. I was in a group of four, which was a little unusual because most of the students were in groups of three, but it seemed to have worked out just fine. And shout out to Miguel. He was one of my group members. Uh, he watches my videos. So uh, he knows exactly what I'm talking about and uh, the work and pain we kind of all went through. But I'm going to start with what exactly we did in this project. So I'm currently looking at a document, uh, a pitch script that we had written up uh, to kind of explain what our project is and the importance of it and why we are doing it. So the project was called LVAV, which stands for Large Scale Video Annotation and Visualization. So we were LVAV if you want to say that. And this project was sponsored by Marios Petichis, who was a professor at the EC department and he was part of a team called Alome. This team worked on doing deep learning research, so machine learning, and this involved gathering large volumes of video footage and determining what the objects are on a particular video. And with this work, it involved a lot of information extraction at a rate that was much faster than humans can actually emulate. It was very tedious work, a lot of you know redundant type of work with the research team. So our goal was to help them in terms of creating a software that helped with this extraction. So a software that would uh, create these extractions in each video and you know process the data and have the machine learn from those extracted images and pixels. So that was our goal um, and we had worked on this. We had worked on the actual software front end. So it was like the video player that allowed someone to play a video of like a group of students in a room who were learning and working in a classroom and they had um, a paper and a pencil that they were writing on and then there was a keyboard and then a monitor and a computer. So uh, the goal was to, while that video was playing, the video player would detect these objects or the user could determine what object is what and then the software would go through these frames and follow that area that they had categorized as paper and save that uh, pixel images or pixel numbers. And it just made it easier for the end user to gather this information so that they could then teach a machine um, that this is what paper is. You know, these are the pixel values of paper, so look for these and that way the machine can learn and in future videos they can predict this is paper and this is a pencil and you know this is a desk and this is a monitor. So that all involved making it just easier for the team because before this the team was doing it by hand and having to go frame by frame to you know do all of this processing. Once we had done our work with the project we had to create you know a test plan and we had to create multiple documents, a test plan, characterization reports and then a final document and then a poster at the very end and this was all during the second semester so the first semester was all about 
uh, having to coordinate with our professor or whoever was in charge of the project um, and they were considered our mentor so they were there uh, having meetings with us making sure that we were on track and making progress on this project they were also there to explain exactly what they wanted done um, and they also helped us with some of the you know documentation like how does this help uh, the group or what is the purpose of this project so all of that was part of the first semester and then we also had to you know figure out how we work well with our group and who works well with what what our strengths were what our weaknesses were in order to really actually get going on the project so a lot of it in the senior design one was just about planning organizing um, getting together uh, just figuring out what our objectives are and what each person needs to work on and do so it was just a lot of planning in that first semester and then the second semester is when we actually did the work so once we had all the planning done and we had the documents you know rough drafts written up uh, we actually you know finished the drafts or we had the final drafts of each of these documents um, we did the work that we had planned to do um, each of us did our own part and we had meetings if someone was stuck or if there were any problems and then at the very, very end, um, right before graduation, we had to create a poster that explained what we did, what the purpose is, and the final results of our project. But I can show you the results here. Um, we used multiple networks, different types of machine learning networks to determine which one would be the best for the machine to learn off of. I think it was Segnet or FCN. I think it was FCN. Um, but the only reason why is because that one had more training. And what I mean by more training is there was more ground truth. And ground truth are all of the frames where um, we had identified which pixels were considered a paper, which pixels were considered a monitor and a keyboard and mouse pad, all of that. So all of the different objects that were in the frame from the video that we had determined were you know these objects that was considered ground truth and then that was inputted into the machine so that the machine can learn off of it there were about 30 or 40 frames in total that we had given the machine to learn from and we applied these different networks to it and you can see here that fcn had the most training beforehand so there was more frames than what we had given it it had already been pre-trained if that's what you want to call it um, and i know it could be a little bit confusing because it is about machine learning and it, it, it kind of goes over my head a bit sometimes because it's just something I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that machines can learn off of like multiple frames and pictures and slowly learn how to identify different objects in a video because of previous identifications that were given to them. So it's just really interesting. But uh, yeah, that, that's the results that we had. And overall, I did like my group members. They were very helpful and they did a lot of work and they also you know, knew what they were doing and they weren't you know, being lazy about it, so to speak. So that was really good. Uh, but this was like a very interesting project, not only because of the machine learning and, and learning something new, but also because of the group work. A lot of the times, uh, most classes don't have any sort of you know, group work, partner work. Um, there are a couple, maybe your first, second semester, uh, in a physics class or a chemistry class, but those are all courses that all students should take anyway. Um, and as you go more and more, you know, focused into engineering, um, you really don't have many opportunities to work with other people. So uh, it was definitely a new experience in terms of learning something new in the project and also learning how to work with others and communicate with others. Uh, so I found it very beneficial in terms of that. I also really liked the project itself, mainly because it involved a lot of you know, computer work and I liked doing that. I liked programming or you know, working on the computer because I could be wherever I wanna be and work. I don't have to be at a certain area and work on a hardware or work on a piece of microcontroller. Um, I could be at my home you know, doing this project. So that was really nice, um, very versatile there. And yeah, uh, I don't know what else I could talk about in terms of this senior design project. If you want me to go more detail about the actual project that we did and the work that we did or the other projects that were also offered in this class, um, then please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any other suggestions or topics that I could talk about in future videos, um, also let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and useful. And if you take a senior design class, well, 
Um, just be prepared to work with other people. That's all I can say. Uh, I don't know what the projects will entail later on, but you'll definitely be working with someone because these projects are something that are just, they're either really big and require a lot of work, more than one person can handle, or they're just so different than the standard schoolwork that you need the help. You need to be able to have someone else there to help you with this. So I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. Bye.